Great. So, what's the word, uh, watch lead? I heard you discussing, and I can. Uh, sorry. So, what we'd like to do after imaging the close-ups of these um, little orifices? Oh, they're so cute. Um, and what we want to do after this is, if you look at the stereo view, right. and you look to your left, so you're panning left. Um, there looks like a flange, and what we want to try to do is deploy the high temperature probe at that flange, sort of underneath the flange. Okay. If we see, if we see water, I mean, we want to make sure that we're seeing flow there before we do that. Okay, so you want to poke underneath. Yeah, and it okay. actually it should be more non-destructive than trying to get the yeah. high T probe into one of these little orifices. It's generally quite difficult to aim the high T probe down All right, into Roland, one of those come out. I don't yeah. see the up into the right one you're talking about. Look at all that black smoke. Oh, this is great. Just great. This is incredible. Oh, Love yeah. it. <laughs> I, oh, there's I, also I, a flange right in front of us, actually. Oh, yeah, a really big one. So what we want to do so is we want to look at below these right. flanges and see black if smoke there's first. definitely fluid okay. beneath and, them. Yeah, culminating beneath it. Right. If we want, we can zoom in and then come down the smoke and let it be revealed. So, Bill, what about this flange that's um, center Kay. right right now? Yeah, you can zoom in. Oh, you won't see it anymore. So if you get full, now Look at it, it's just absolutely down. billowing out of it. Can reveal it? Okay. Wow, that crab's in a really I weird shape. Position. I would guess that one, one that was white would have a better chance of having fluid coming out around it. All right. One that is uh, brown. Not white? All yeah. of a sudden. All at once. All right, we'll take a look. Oh, look at that nice orifice. Oh, I think that shrimp just got that to a fight with the crab. It's like giving small commands. Because the, the blind, the like yeah, because small, they're blind, they tend to bump once. into each other quite a lot. But also, the, the crabs do tend to be um, predatory or are scavengers. They, are they predators of the shrimp? Or is that too right. I'm not sure. Let's Onshore uh, scientists, do the crabs eat the shrimp? For about five or six or do they tend seconds. to go for easier prey, like the limpets or the gastropods? Do they also or do eat they just eat, mat? Yeah, or do they just eat bacterial mat? Okay. I'm thinking because Great. the predators are scavengers. Well, uh -huh, go on. Thanks. This is Patty uh, from Shore. What I've seen, um, especially with the, um, the round Z -Mass furry looks pretty snails, good. is that when we have tried to sample yeah. them, the animals that come in to eat them are preferential. Okay, so this is the sort of area you were thinking of prodding? The crabs or the crabs it's like that shelf? Under up and under. Up and under this thing? I, I think. I thought they were sort of describing a white one to okay, the left. Okay, so, um, pilots, what we were hearing, we may have to actually turn towards the left instead because this one, we don't see as much of that white bacterial mat. We're not sure, although it looks like there's a black smoker under that flange. Look at that. Can you yeah. see that, Diva? Yeah. So, no, what? It doesn't, want to look, look, doesn't look like it's billowing as... I don't pilots. know. Look at it off to the right. It's, it's there. Right. But I think what we were going to do is hope to aim for one of the ones that's whiter, so we want to look for one that's white but also has fluid underneath it. And we're going to ask the scientists on shore to help us with this. Okay, I'm going to drop so a little bit. So scientists on shore, start so looking. All those, all those chimneys in front of us, so it makes it a little harder. I right hear with all the shrimp? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah? So just keep, um, so shore base scientists, just keep eyeballing and uh, somebody shout out when you see something that looks like it could be a good place to deploy the high T probe. And if not, we'll keep moving. I think it helps to get a little bit lower and then look up, you know, because so you can see the flange uh, under part. So the arm is okay, six I'll ask feet about, long. Okay, I'll ask about that. So, pilot? Yes. Um, it was a, there's a suggestion that um, perhaps if we go down a little bit and look up, we'll be able to see how much fluid is flowing. Okay. I can go down and look up. Can't probe from there very well. No, but it would be more of a identifying where okay. it is we'd like to probe, and then we'll come back. So to this it. is definitely where the vent sort of ends, and we get into that brown stuff. You yeah. can see right here is the line. So I'm down and looking up. Can we zoom in a little bit here? Absolutely. There's definitely a flow. It's just how much is good. Come right. on in. Yeah. Be partial. Thanks. And then can you pan up just a little bit? Panning up. A touch. So how does that look for everybody? Does that look like a reasonable place to try to deploy the high T probe? 